Hello and welcome to our series on how to use Excel to work with Likert scale data. This is uh, one in a series and we're going to have a lot of short videos to show you what you can do with data in Excel. You may learn things that you don't even know that you didn't know. And uh, if you like this series, please hit subscribe and you'll be alerted to the rest of our videos in the series. Here's our data set. We've got 20 rows of data and it's Likert scale. We're going to summarize it over here. So let's just select the question headings, copy, and paste them over here. This is where we'll put our summary data. And then we need to put the Likert choices over here and don't type them because if you did any, if you misspell a word or if you put an extra space in, the formulas won't work. So just find them over here and paste them in. And I presume that these were came from an electronic survey. If you type these in, you got to make sure their agree is always the same every time. Uh, neutral. And then we want disagree. And strongly disagree. Okay, so now they're exactly like they were over here because I didn't type them, I pasted them in. And we want to get the totals in these cells here. So here's what we do. Click in strongly agree, Q1, and every formula starts with equals. So equals, and we're going to count the strongly agrees in column C in our data. And we do that with a formula called count if. So you write count if and then open the parentheses and then we select our data which is right here. Count if our data goes from C2 to C21. Count if anything in there comma and then click on strongly agree and close it. I'm not done with this but I'm going to show you. Okay, there was one strongly agree and that's actually correct. We want to paste this down. Once you write a form, you just want to write the formula once and then paste it. But formulas increment the columns and numbers unless they have dollar signs on them. So if we were to paste this down, let me show you what happens. If you click in a cell and then go up here and click in your formula in the formula bar it shows you where it's pulling from and see how this is now shifted down one C3 to C22 and that's not what you want so let's go back hit enter don't ever click around when you're in a formula because you'll it starts adding things to the formula let's go back up here and fix it so that we can paste it we want the range to be from 2 to 21 when we pull this down. So we have to put dollar signs on in front of the 2 and the 21. Now if we pull it down the C will stay C because it's still in the same column. If we pull it across we want that C to increment. So we do not want a dollar sign on the C's. What about N2? As we pull this across we want it to stay in column N because everything, regardless of where we are, we want it to compare what's in N. So we need a dollar sign on the N, but not on the 2 because we do want that to increment as we move. So now hit enter. And it didn't change, it's still 1 like it was, but these are going to change. Well, I guess because that wasn't an agree, but let's click, click up here to check it. This tells us we're comparing to agree, and here's the range we're comparing in. Let's look at the next one. Click in here. We're comparing to neutral, and we got the range right. Okay. You can check them all if you want. If we select this whole thing and grab that little box down there, you can pull it across. And now let's just check some by clicking here it tells us we're comparing to agree and here's the what we're comparing so that is correct choose another one 
we're comparing to neutral and see how it's red to match that shows you where that part of the formula looks and the range we're looking is correct so there you have your totals now if you want to get percents um, what I do is I just recopy this and compute the percents out of here that first one would be equals what was there over the sum of whoops I need that one in, included I'll just change it here to 02 to 06 and when I pull this down I want the sum to stay 02 to 06 but I want the numerator to increment down one so we need 2 to 6 we need the dollar signs and the O I want to pull this across without rewriting the formula down here it tells us the sum is 1 and I'll click on percent so it'll look like percents and pull this across and you can check to make sure you did it right but let's click it shows us see the blue there that over the range which is correct that's an easy way to check so there you have it you've got your totals you've got your percents and we'll show you a little bit more of what you can do in the next video